Just got a call that there's one stop ahead of me for the couch. Couch delivery is happening. Yes. <gasps> no couch. Here's the story time. and welcome to or back to my channel. So today I'm back with possibly the most exciting video. So today I'm going to be doing a moving vlog. I feel like I should probably catch you guys up. Let me set my camera down. I'll link the videos down in the description if you guys wanna check out the past videos so you're kind of like caught up on everything. I've posted an apartment hunting and a couple apartment shopping vlogs. Just to kind of catch you guys up real quickly, I am 22, I'm graduated from college and YouTube is technically my full-time job which is crazy to think about. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. All this time. I've started it in 2012. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting, subscribing, um, following me on Instagram. All of those things really help me and allow me to have this as my full-time job and really have allowed me to be able to afford an apartment on my own. I really do appreciate all your guys' support because I really wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So I wanted to say that really quickly. Over the last few months and last year that I've really been doing YouTube full-time. So I've been working from home. I've been graduated the last few months. So I've really been doing everything from home. I'm not going to classes and I've been working from home. So I've spent all of my time in this bedroom. I feel like I've just kind of outgrown this physical space. Um, also with me just being kind of graduated and making my own money, I just kind of feel like it's time to kind of be on my own and kind of push myself for some more growth of being more independent and just being on my own. In the summer, I kind of looked at apartments to just kind of see what was available in my general area, what the prices were, if there were like any cute ones that were kind of what I was looking for. And I found one that was just like really perfect that I really loved. So I wasn't like in a rush to move out, but I did find one that I liked. So I was like, you know, like I think this is the right timing. It was available in October. I think I had originally looked maybe like in July. I was like, this gives me some time to really save up my money, find some things for the apartment. So it's not like, you know, I'm not like rush to find things or whatever everything just seemed really perfect and it just felt really right so i felt like it was the right time and i had originally kind of been thinking about moving out after i graduated anyway so i did decide to move out and um i am living alone one other thing i am going to be relatively close to home i'm not moving out of kansas city or anything so i did sign my lease i think in august and i'm moving in like i said this october so i've had kind of two months to kind of like prepare for moving out. However, I did not start packing, buying things for my apartment because it is my very first time moving out. I didn't go away to college or anything, so I literally have nothing. I spent the last two months kind of buying all those first apartment essentials, which I will be doing at home essentials first apartment kind of haul. So that way when I move in, I really have everything. So I was like, if I can kind of spread that out over two months and kind of buy a little bit here and a little bit there, that would really help me out financially. With that being said, um, while I was working full-time at American Eagle and doing YouTube and all that kind of stuff, I did kind of save up money, kind of knowing that once I graduated, at some point I'm gonna move out and it is gonna be expensive. So I did have kind of money chunked back. I know if you're watching this like, and you haven't moved out yet and you know you're probably going to at some point in the near future, even if it's like five years from now, I would definitely start saving money back. You're, there's gonna be so many things that you're gonna need to buy and it's so expensive you just have a little bit of a cushion to put towards something because even a couch alone is like really expensive that's just like a little bit of advice if you guys have moved out and you have advice i would love to hear it in the comments below I'll be responding to all the comments so please leave a comment below thumbs up this video i'm gonna have a couple different moving vlogs on my channel I'll probably do like two or three of them so definitely subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever the other moving vlogs go up and definitely the apartment tour because i'll be doing that at some point follow me on instagram and let's just go ahead and get started so right now i'm obviously at home um, but I'm gonna start packing and then here in a few days I'll check in with you guys on move-in day and we'll really get started with the fun stuff Date. So I just found out that I can actually pick up my keys tomorrow afternoon. I have a lot of packing to do in the next less than 24 hours. So I just wanted to pop on here as I'm moving. I've been literally dropping my phone like crazy. I feel like I've just been carrying up different loads of 
boxes and laundry baskets of stuff i've literally dropped it a million times and i've talked about this in other videos before but i just wanted to show you what phone cases i use because it has literally saved my phone this weekend and just always i literally drop my phone a million times a day i just wanted to tell you guys about them so if you guys haven't heard of caseify you should definitely check them out like literally me my sister all of my friends um are obsessed with them they are so great they are genuinely the best phone cases so I just wanted to tell you guys about them. They are so amazing. Um, I'm actually partnering with Case Spy on this video. I love them so much. Like genuinely the only phone case brand I use. What I really love about Case Spy is that you get military grade protection and the cases are really cute. You can also customize them. So I have some other ones where they have my name on them. You can like customize them and make them super cute. You can pick the color you want, the text you want, the pattern you want. Like I'll kind of show you guys how you can customize it here on the screen. I love that you can really just create the kind of case that you want. So you can really have a case that no one else will have. But also the protective cases are also really sleek. I think this is like the super impact case. And as you can see, it's not bulky at all. They're super slim. I believe it's like 13 millimeters. Very slim, but also very protective. You can see mine is actually um, a little bit banged up. Like you can see, like I've definitely dropped it a few times. It has protected my phone. Like I don't have any like cracks or anything like that. My phone is in perfect condition. You can choose from thousands of designs designs like this one or you can completely customize your own case. You can even do like a little mix of both. Casetify will protect your case from drops up to six feet. I just love that they're protective and cute because I feel like typically I've had to use these ugly bulky ones that are not cute in order to protect my phone but Casetify you really get the best of both worlds with the military grade protection and they're cute and they're customizable. They also do really awesome collabs with celebrities like they did one with Heinz ketchup coca-cola they did one with rolling stones like just all kinds of cool collabs and they'll also do them with different artists you can just get really cool graphics tons of celebrities use case to buy as well including like Kylie Jenner Gigi Hadid Dua Lipa so all those celebrities are always posting like mirror selfies with their case to buy so you can get the same cases as them which I personally think is really cool so the impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Chi Tech material and they're drop test approved up to 6.6 .6 feet literally no joke i've tested it myself and i'll actually show you now I am literally obsessed. So they're cute. They're good quality. They're super protective. So you guys definitely need to check them out. Make sure to go to casefy.com slash Emily Grace and you can actually get 20% off and match me. I literally love all of the ones I've gotten. I literally get compliments daily on this one. I promise you'll be getting compliments left and right and your phone is going to be nice and safe. Definitely click that link below in the description so you can get 20% off. And thank you again to Casefy for partnering with me on this video. I just want to pop on here and tell you guys that because you're going to be seeing my phone cases throughout this video. Hi guys and welcome back. So so today is the day I am picking up my keys. I am so excited. I can't even begin to tell you guys how excited I am. Literally last night I couldn't even sleep. It was like, you know, when you're a kid and it's Christmas Eve and you can't sleep, that was me last night. And it sounds ridiculous because I'm 22 years old, but I literally could not sleep last night. I was just so excited. I'm just excited to move, honestly. I'm literally at the leasing office. I'm about to go pick up my keys. I'm gonna go pick up my keys and then I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour. We're gonna be deep cleaning the apartment and I already have my car loaded up and my mom's minivan loaded up with a ton of things to move in today. Just lots of small essentials um, I want to film um, first apartment kind of home essentials haul tomorrow morning before I kind of put anything away so I'm gonna do that so I kind of got everything over for that I'm gonna go pick up my keys I literally am so excited there it is here it is I just got my keys, so exciting. I'm gonna show you guys an empty apartment tour. I have been waiting to show you guys this for the longest time, so I am really excited. Oh, hey, you wanna see the empty apartment tour? So once you walk in, I've got all these stairs, so you're coming in from the front door. So this is kind of like my entryway, so I have this little wall here. I think I'm gonna put like a little shelf hook thing here, with maybe like an entryway bench. Here, like a mirror, so that's kind of my vision for this little entryway section. So moving along, have this coat closet, 
hallway, which is actually a pretty good size. It goes back pretty far, so I love having that storage. I'm just gonna store my coats here, which I have like a ridiculous amount of winter coats. I put some of my cleaning supplies here. I'll be showing you guys all of that. You'll be seeing literally all of this in the moving blocks. This is just a utility closet, so nothing really to see. This is kind of like the main part of the apartment, and obviously that is the kitchen and living room. It's all very open. First off, you see my fridge. It's obviously very empty currently because I just picked up my key, so I will definitely be going grocery shopping soon. Lots of storage and built-in shelving, so this is probably where I'll be storing like my plates, microwave, all that stuff. More drawers, super exciting. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with all this, but I might use this as kind of like my pantry. See, there's not any cabinets as you can see here, so I kind of showed this in my second apartment shopping vlog. I got some stuff to put above the sink. I just got like a silver little rack from Ikea. You can hang plants and utensils and all kinds of stuff on that. So that's my, um, that's what I'm planning on putting above there. Next up is my island. It also has some nice storage. There's just kind of, just a wall, but there's this little nook here. So I thought about putting either a shelf or maybe a bar cart. So then I've got the living room. So as you can see, it's just kind of like this open space. Um, I'm really excited to see what it looks like once I decorate. So I'm gonna put my couch on this wall here. It's kind of like an L-shaped kind of sectional couch. It's kind of like a light gray color. You'll be seeing it very soon because it actually gets delivered tomorrow. I it like 10 weeks ago. Then I have a little media console sort of thing. And then obviously my TV, which I think I'm gonna put on this wall. And I also have this little balcony, which is super nice. I love this. That's what it looks like. I don't actually have any patio table or anything for it um, because it is October and it's gonna be winter here very soon. I figured that would be something I can just get later in the spring. Um, so next up are these two doors here. Um, one of them is for my bedroom and one of them is for my bathroom. So I love that you can actually get to my bathroom without having to go through my bedroom. This is my bedroom. I've got some nice um, lighting in here. I've got two little windows and a big window. I don't really know how I'm going to rearrange this door here, kind of connecting from my room into the bathroom, which will be really nice having a bathroom kind of connected to my bedroom. Vanity counter, and I really like that it's one sink and not two because it gives me all this extra counter space. Just got lots of storage. I have obviously the toilet, <laughs> shower. I'm just going to put a white shower curtain here. Next up is Maybe the most exciting part? I don't know. This is my closet. I've got a washer and dryer, which will just be super convenient because, you know, it's in my closet. These racks above the washer and dryer, and then I just got all these other racks. It's really good storage for like a one bedroom apartment. So I'm very, very excited about it. Very excited to organize this. I don't think it's all, it's all so close. I, I want to water, it's right there. I need to do laundry, it's right there. I need to go to the bathroom, it's right there. I want to be in my room, it's right there. So everything is right here. I'm so excited. It's crazy to think that I have my own apartment now. I think that's everything. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what everything looks like before and then here over the next few days, but in this vlog. You see the apartment kind of transform as I unbox everything and move my furniture in. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like. I actually get my couch delivered tomorrow. We're like kind of in the kitchen and you can probably tell where we're at. So we're just gonna walk down the stairs. There's one more thing I forgot to show you. So this other door which is my garage. So this is kind of like one of the reasons I picked this apartment. I love that I got the garage. And as you can see, it's totally like in unit. Like it's, it's kind of like a little house almost. Um, so this is my garage. I've got room for shelving. You can see I kind of just pull into my garage and then I walk in and go up the stairs. I'm literally like in my apartment. So I love the like little kind of house feel. I feel like it's also really safe as like a young female. That's the official empty apartment tour. That is everything. I think I literally showed you guys everything. So now we are gonna start deep cleaning and actually bringing all of the stuff up. Okay, so first thing I brought up, I was really dying to see what this looked like. So it's just like this little runner rug. I got it from Target. I will link everything below that I show in this vlog, or at least I'll try to. I think this looks cute. And these are my bar stools. I literally had the hardest time finding cute bar stools that I liked, but I ended up going with these. These are just like some black leather, like actual kind of chairs. I think they look nice. Do you guys think they look nice? I wanted something comfy, but also kind of cute. This lighting is really good in here. I'm loving this. This is um, 6.30, so typically I feel like in my house I don't usually have good lighting at 6.30. I've just been updating Instagram 
with a little mini apartment tour. I'll add all of this to a highlight. So definitely make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at emilygrace.26 so you can see everything in real time. I think I'm just going to really start unloading everything because we do have a lot of what we brought over here in my garage right now. It's a little bit later now. I am like sweating. It's actually really hot today and I did not realize the air conditioning wasn't turned on and luckily I fan so I also turned those on and I brought some comfier clothes so I'm going to change into those. I all of this stuff up. This is kind of like my home essentials. This is just kind of like random stuff like pillows. Okay so I think I'm going to start um, unpackaging all of my kind of glassware and dishes. Okay guys, here is the progress. We've got some furniture pieces. That's not where they're gonna go. They're just kind of sitting in here. We've got some pizza. It'll be a good night. So it's actually quite a bit later now. It's almost 9 p.m. I unpacked most of my glasses and dishes and all that kind of stuff. They are all in the dishwasher, so that way I can get them all put up because I really want to organize my dishes. I feel like pretty much everything that I would be unboxing I want to keep kind of boxed up to show in the hall tomorrow morning so I'm kind of waiting to really unbox any everything my parents are literally so helpful I appreciate and love them so much hey guess what okay guys so I think we are leaving the apartment for today it's pretty late now I think it's like almost 11 o'clock so I will just check in with you guys tomorrow morning it's honestly been a really productive and eventful day so tomorrow I'm gonna do a lot of the like unboxing of the other stuff and then Friday I'm probably gonna do my closet so we'll kind of see how it all works out I think that's it for today I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning good morning so it's the next day we are starting off at Starbucks I got a venti iced pumpkin spice so now I'm gonna head over to the apartment and I'm gonna film the kind of like what you need for your first apartment home essentials kind of haul before I unbox and unload everything. My entire car is loaded up with clothes so it's only the first trip. You guys know I have a lot of clothes. It's you've If you've watched any of my closet clean outs so it's gonna take a few trips to get all my clothes over. I'm gonna head over to the apartment and I'll talk to you guys then because I've got people parked next to me and it's kind of awkward. First things first. I'm gonna film a haul of all of the stuff. I also have more stuff in here, but I just need to get all the stuff kind of organized. All of my new dishes are done, so that's exciting. Just put this t-shirt on because I was a little hot in the hoodie. I'm gonna film the home essentials haul. Wish me luck because this is honestly so much stuff. I don't know how I feel like I'm gonna be filming for two hours. This might be my biggest haul yet. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Okay, so a little update, I filmed my haul. This is the real aftermath of the haul. I think the haul went really well. I feel like I can finally unload all of the stuff. Before I do that, I do need to take a thumbnail. This is the setup for my thumbnail. I think that's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm proud of myself. It didn't take me that long either. I think we're good. So now I can finally start putting this stuff away. This is everything that needs to be kind of unboxed and washed and cleaned. But mostly all kitchen stuff. It's all cleaning stuff that needs to be kind of organized and put away. Living room, officially all cleaned out and empty. It's almost ready for the couch. We just have to finish cleaning the floors. I've just been doing dishes. I have everything in my bedroom currently. So basically I just took everything from here. Moved it to there. Slowly just been really unboxing everything and washing it and getting it ready to put away. I've just really been cleaning, so really not too much to update on. Here soon I'm gonna have a couch. It's just been kind of like a busy, busy day. Kind of what my living room looks like. So I got this rug from Target. Both of those pieces are from Urban Outfitters. That's just like a little basket to put kind of my throw blankets in and that is from Target as well. Over here, I have my TV stand, which is also from Target, and then I have little baskets inside, also from Target, and then um, the little plant next to it is from Home Goods. I actually really like this rug. I was gonna get like a wool kind of rug, like a wool braided rug, but a lot of you guys said you had problems with them shedding, so I went with this like kind of fringe one. I feel like you can't go wrong with these kind of rugs. My couch could be coming at any time, I'm honestly just waiting on the call. I live within a certain distance of the furniture store to where it is free delivery to you. Um, and then I paid for them to actually bring it up 
into the apartment because as you guys saw, I kind of have a narrow stairway and I didn't want to like scuff it up. I'm just waiting on that. I normally would not pay for like delivery or any extra kind of costs, but I justified it with that. I think in this first cabinet, I'm gonna put all of my plates and bowls. Here in the second one, I think I'm gonna put probably all my drinking glasses on the bottom and then mugs maybe on the top. In these cabinets here, I'm gonna put all of my food. I'm gonna use this for silverware. That's kind of how the kitchen organization is going. I just need to finish cleaning all of these cabinets out. The top ones are all done, but I still am working on the bottom ones. So I've started to kind of set up my bathroom a little bit. This is all from Target from the Magnolia section. So I got a little toothbrush holder, soap pump, and these two things. I'm gonna kind of see what looks good in here. I also picked up this. I also have this little hand towel. I have these, so those kind of match. I don't know if this is like, too many rugs. I kind of wanted one in all these places. That's where I'm at currently. I always have this. Oh my gosh. This is the current state of my room. I'm just going to finish wiping down all the cabinets. call that there's one stop ahead of me for the couch so they should be here in 20 minutes which is so exciting I'm so excited soon there will be a couch here I'll have somewhere to sit couch delivery is happening there it is you guys it is now a little bit later and there's the big reveal <gasps> no couch there's the story time <laughs> So my couch is about to get delivered. The couch was here. People delivering it said that they took like one look and said it's not gonna fit. We're not putting this into the doorway. It's not happening. And they were like, you're gonna have to reselect something else. It's not happening. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna work. We're not even gonna, we're not gonna try. My mom was like, please try. And they kind of tried and it still just wasn't happening. I guess I'm gonna have to find another couch on this one. And I was really excited because it was super good quality. It was exactly what I envisioned. Really disappointed. All the couches wouldn't get here till January. A little piece of advice. Not only should you measure your actual area where your couch will be because most likely it would fit there. Um, make sure you measure your actual doorway. So I kind of showed you guys, there's like a narrow door where you enter and kind of like that narrow stairway. Um, I didn't even really think to measure that, which I should have, but I just didn't. Go couch shopping and order way in advance. I have a couch that's currently not being used, but it is from like the 80s. It is literally from the 80s. And I don't even know if that one would fit in here. I'm like honestly really disappointed. I was very excited my sister and her boyfriend are coming this weekend and I was like really excited to have the couch in time. So that's the update. I don't think we're really gonna be here for much longer. I don't have a bed or any furniture really. So I'm definitely gonna go back home or like back to my parents' house. I don't really know what to call home because this doesn't quite feel like home yet. I'll be back here tomorrow morning. I think I'm gonna be organizing my closet and everything tomorrow. So that's really exciting. I think that's probably where I'm going to leave off for tonight, but I will definitely check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Just popping on here from the future, I guess. I never really ended this vlog, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching Moving Vlog 1. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Definitely make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post Moving Vlogs 2 and 3. And definitely follow my Instagram at emilygrace.26 for more kind of like behind the scenes, real time updates of the apartment and everything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.